Okay. All right, let's do some limiting reagents. So let me balance this. Uh, two, three, that should do it. Okay, a limiting reactive problem can have multiple types of questions. Uh, it's a little difficult for me to make one up, so I'm just going to do one in general. I'll put some numbers down, and you can calculate it yourself uh, for fun later. And you and your friends can make up whatever numbers you want. Okay, so let's just pick some numbers here. 1.0 grams, uh, 0.9 grams, and uh, let's see. What, uh, and this one, we want, we want the mass of this. Okay. The reason I know that this is a limiting reactive problem, I'm given information about two of the reactants and asked about a third item in the reaction. So if you're ever given information about two different reactants and asked about a third, it's definitely a limiting reactant, even if it doesn't say those words. And so you're going to go through the following steps. So first we'll just find the mass, and then I'll add other problems on, onto this as we go on. Okay, so first part, we're just going to find the mass. I don't know why I wrote A there, but whatever. So, let, what you do is you do the stoichiometric problem one at a time. Let's start with N2. Start with one of the reactants for which you're given information. 1.0 grams. What you want to do is convert this to whatever you're asked for. And it can be in mass or moles that you don't have to put in mass, but I'm just going to put in mass for the sake of us. So, uh, it's 28... 0.02 grams per mole is the molar mass of N2. So that's moles of N2. I don't want moles of N2, I want moles of ammonia. So I'll go 2 moles of NH3 for every 1 mole of N2. And this will give me the moles of NH3. Now I'll multiply one more time. I want to use the molar mass of ammonia to get mass. And that's going to be... Uh, I think it's going to be about 17 point oh something. All right, oh three. I don't know what it is. Okay, so then you'll get the mass of this. And if somebody on the calculator wants to do that, that'd be fantastic. And then the other part is you go to H2, the other one for which you're given information in the problem. H2, 0 0.9. Did somebody get this mass? Okay, when you get it, yell it out. 2.016, I'm going to do the same thing, molar mass, change the moles. And then there are now two moles of NH3 for every three moles of H2. And then multiply by whatever the molar mass of ammonia is, I think it's around 17.03 grams per mole. And get the mass of that. Okay, does anybody have these? Okay, okay, one person brought their calculator, that's awesome. What's the first one? 1.216. 1.216, second one? I'll just 5.08, is that okay? 5.07. Okay, whatever. You can do it precisely at home with your grandma or whatever. I don't have that for that right now. Okay. Uh, so now you got both of those two. The smaller number is your answer. And it asks you for mass of ammonia. So you're going to take the smaller number. So that means the N2 is a limiting reactant. H2 is what's called in excess. In excess, okay? Now, let's do a second part of this problem. I'll make up a new question. Uh, in this question, I want to know for the one that's in excess, that's H2. How much was it in excess? How much? This was in excess, so that means I added too much. So how much should I have added if I want it to be exactly equal? So, in this case, what I'm going to do, and we'll see how my calculator people work, but if, if you want to take time off, that's fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to what I know. This one is the limiting, so I start with the limiting. 1.0 grams of N2. Okay, I'm going to start with the limiting one again. Now, I use the molar mass, uh, let's see, I think it was 28.01 grams per mole or something like that, or 28.02. Now, 
Now this is moles of N2. Okay, moles of N2. Now what I'm going to do is use a molar ratio. Uh, there's, let's see, uh, one mole of N2 for every three moles of H2. That's because I want to know about H2. I'm going to calculate the mass of H2 starting with my limiting reactant and see what I get. Okay, uh, times, I have to squish this in a little bit, uh, the molar mass of hydrogen, 2.016 grams per mole. So now I have mass of hydrogen. So know what I did. I started with moles of mass of nitrogen and went to mass of hydrogen, just doing a stoichiometry problem. This is going to be the actual mass. Does anybody have this? 0. 0.12 uh, 0.1 0.2 Okay, whatever. Grams. So now notice, if you go back to the original problem, which I just totally made up here. See, that's how much, if, if it was exact, I'd have this and this and they'd totally be consumed. But I had too much of the hydrogen. Look, quite a bit, almost 0.7. So you could say, if you wanted to, whatever the difference is between these two numbers, about 0.7, that's how much hydrogen was in excess. Is that okay? That's how much hydrogen was in excess. Okay, there's one more type of problem that you can be asked in this part. Uh, okay, is the percent yield, percent yield, which is the actual minus theoretical, times 100. Okay, that's the formula you want to use. You'll have to know that formula. We usually don't give it to you. Theoretical is what you calculate. If you are using a calculator, that number is the theoretical number. Actual has anything to do with lab. So if you're in lab, or if it says in the question, the experimenter got this, or someone was doing this and got so much, that's the actual. Okay, so I will, it has to be a given number. Given, uh, let's see, where's the other part of the question? Okay, I have to make up a number that makes sense. Okay, the number I am going to make up is smaller than which of these two? I'm about to make up a number. Help me make a test question. It has to be smaller than this number. Why? That's the limiting reaction. This is the actual mass. Okay, so this is the, not the actual, this is theoretical mass, so the actual has to be smaller than that. So, that's how I'm making up this number. So, 0 0.72 grams. You're given that, that's the actual ammonia made when somebody tinkered around in the lab and did this experiment. So what you do, is you say whatever's given, on top, that's the actual, divided by what, what you really got, theoretically, 1.216. And whatever the heck this is, we don't need to know. Okay, got it. five. Did you multiply by hundred? There we go. So fifty-nine point two percent yield. You better not get a negative number, and you better not get a number over a hundred. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh, okay. Pause that. I paused it right. No. No. no.